Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl, this is Table Full of Joy. And friends, it's been a busy week <laughs> and I'm tired. Hubby was working all day. I had projects I was trying to get done today. He just got home a little bit ago. He's starving. We are gonna cook something really, really quick. This is a twist on a recipe, a dish I should say, that I was raised on. I loved beef stroganoff when I was a kid. We used to do what we called poor man's. Beef stroganoff made with ground beef, it was basically made with like a milk gravy. You'd add sour cream to it. I've done it on my channel before. I should do it again, but I did it oh, quite a while back. But this is a different recipe that I've seen. A couple of different channels do versions of this, but I found this on Pinterest. We're gonna make it tonight for dinner. It's gonna be super quick. I've already ground up my, cooked up my ground beef. You guys didn't need to see that. You know how to do that. <laughs> and so we're gonna make the sauce, put some water on to boil. We're cooking some medium um, egg noodles. And I have for a side dish, this is some fresh broccoli that we got at the farm last week. So we're gonna cook that in my my, uh, my Pepper Chef micro cooker. We're just gonna break up some of the broccoli, put it in the micro cooker. It's gonna take two minutes in the microwave to cook this. This, after you cook the ground beef, literally comes together in minutes. It does not take very long at all, which is what I love about this recipe because hubby's starving, <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> and we need to eat something really quick and be able to just go sit and relax for the rest of the evening because we are both exhausted. It's been a busy week, even though I'm retired, it's still been a busy week. I've had a lot of things going on this week, so let's get dinner made. This is a super easy, quick recipe. Friends, if you're looking for something quick and hearty to feed your kids before they head off to sports or whatever, this recipe comes together super, super fast. This is where, as I've shared with you guys before, I love keeping pre-cooked ground beef in my freezer. It's already cooked, salt and pepper, Everything's done to it. All I have to do is heat it up. If it's been frozen, if it's still frozen, just put it in a pan on low, let it thaw out that way. Otherwise, take it out of the out of the freezer, put it in your fridge in the Ziploc bag and let it thaw out while you're at work. Come home and your ground beef is ready to go for whatever you want to put it in. Spaghetti, lasagna, stroganoff like we're making tonight, um, you know, tacos, anything like that. Whatever you want to do to it, it's ready to go. It's already cooked. You've done the work while you're doing something else. So Let's get our broccoli in our micro cooker. I've got my ground beef. I'm gonna turn my stove back on, let that ground beef start coming back up to temperature because we're gonna make our sauce. It's gonna go really super quick and we're gonna have dinner on the table in like less than 15 minutes and that's perfect for me. So let's get our broccoli taken care of. So I've just got my, my, my Pampered Chef micro cooker and I'm just gonna break these up in some little bit smaller chunks a broccoli because these are pretty good sized pieces and I don't want anything that big. So we're just gonna break these down just a little bit. I went, I've been actually been to the farm quite a few times this week to get all kinds of things. I'm just trying to work on getting my freezer stocked up with as much fresh produce right now as I possibly can from, you know, carrots and corn and onions and peppers and all the things and just trying to really have a good stocked freezer going into fall because friends today our weather changed for the first time and I was thrilled we had our first really good rain today our first really good th uh, storm we had some thunder and some lightning come through my dogs were not thrilled but I was in heaven because I'm a fall girl and I love the rain I love a good thunderstorm I love a good rainstorm that just makes me super happy. So I'm not gonna put anything in this. I don't put any water. I don't put anything in this. I just steam this for exactly two minutes in this micro cooker, in the microwave, and then I will salt and pepper it, put some butter on it, and it's done. That's what I love about these things. All right, friends, I thought I was recording, but apparently not. So I've got about half a bag of our egg noodles in this pot right here. Salted water, make sure that our pasta tastes good. That's going. I'm heating my ground beef back up. I put one cup of water and one packet of brown gravy mix in here. I whisk that up really good to make sure I have all the lumps out. We're gonna let our ground beef come up to temp again. I'm just gonna use the same spoon that I was using for my pasta because I'm all about the less dishes, the better for me. So that's gonna come to temp. You can hear it kinda sizzling. So we're gonna go ahead and put our water and gravy mix in here. And I've got a can of 
Peru mushroom soup. And we're gonna put this in and this is what's gonna give us that creamy stroganoff texture that is so classic for this dish. We're just gonna kind of mix this into our ground beef and our gravy mix with our water. This comes together, friends, like I said, so super, super fast, super, super quick, because there are some nights you just don't have time to stand at the stove for half hour or 45 minutes and make dinner. And that's why I said I love having that pre-cooked ground beef in my fridge or my freezer, I mean, so that it is ready for me when I am ready for it. And I just have to take it out and either thaw it or, you know, honestly, friends, there has been times where I have forgotten to take something out for dinner <laughs> and that ground beef has been a lifesaver for me because I was able to take it out of the freezer, frozen, throw it into a pan, put just a touch of water in there and let it start to thaw out while I was doing something else. And I was able to just throw some taco seasoning in it and make tacos in you know, less than 10 minutes. It was super fast, super quick. So the thing that makes stroganoff so classic is the sour cream. That's how fast this is, friends. This goes together so incredibly quick, especially, like I said, if you've got your ground beef already done, cooked, and in the freezer, and you can just pull it out and do it so, so fast, so quick. You wanna be really careful adding your sour cream though that you don't add it while your heat is too high because if you do, your sour cream is gonna curdle and nobody wants to have curdled sour cream, trust me. And for this particular recipe, I don't even mind using a little bit of my pasta water to thin this out some. I'm okay with that. So when I strain my pasta, I'm probably just gonna strain it directly into the skillet so that if I do end up getting a little bit of pasta water in here, I'm okay with that. This already smells super good. I love stroganoff. Like I said, it was a classic when I was growing up. Something we had all the time. We had the poor man's version of uh, stroganoff though. check our noodles and see how these are doing. The, it's what I love about the medium egg noodles. They don't take very long to cook. Mm, and they're perfect. Mm, so good. All right, we're gonna just add our noodles right into this. As I said, our broccoli took like two minutes in the microwave in that Pampered Chef micro cooker. I love that thing. I'm just gonna get some butter and I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter in our broccoli and that side dish is done. That's how quickly that went together. And you can see that I'm not super worried about getting all of the water off of this pasta because it can, I'm okay with it thinning out our gravy just a little bit. We're gonna very carefully toss our pasta with our stroganoff sauce. Now this would be amazing if you had some fresh mushrooms or even some canned mushrooms would be okay in this. I, like I said, I just don't have any mushrooms at the moment and I'm trying to use up what I've got in my house and not grocery shop right now just because we have so much already. This looks incredible. This looks so good. And look how fast this went together. It would be just a little bit longer, like I said, if you had to cook the ground beef, but we had it already done. This dinner came together so quickly. Hubby wasn't even out of the shower and it's already done. So let's get our butter on our broccoli. 
If you've been following me for a while, you know that I do not like mushy vegetables. So this broccoli is perfect. I don't like it super, super soft. I like it to still have just a little bit of a texture to it. So we're gonna put a little bit of this grass-fed butter on here and we're just gonna toss it around and get that broccoli all coated with that butter. This looks super good. As I said, this is fresh broccoli from a local farm around here where I've been getting a ton of produce this year. All right, there's our beautiful stroganoff. I'm gonna go ahead and dish up heavy some fresh broccoli. We're just gonna put that right here on the side of his bowl. Hey friends, there it is. This was like a 20 minute dinner, if that. Especially if you have your ground beef cooked already ahead of time, if it's stashed in your freezer. When you buy the big things of ground beef, whether it's at the grocery store, at Costco, Sam's Club, wherever it is that you shop, get your ground beef in a bulk, big container, bring it home, split it up into several pounds and pre-cook it and just salt and pepper it. Take half of it, do taco seasoning on it or whatever you want to. But this makes a super easy, quick dinner. Like I said, this was 20 minutes and it was done. So we're gonna go eat this. Friends, thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen. So we had a really fast, quick, easy dinner tonight with some fresh ingredients that we got at the local farm. Loving all of this fresh produce that we're getting right now, taking advantage of all of this stuff that they have fresh right now. If you guys have not yet, please hit that subscribe button up there. We would love to have you a part of our YouTube family. It would mean so much to us. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. Friends, give this video a like. I love to see those big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I love reading the comments. I love reading them, reading them to my husband. He loves, he gets a, gets a kick out of some of them. So <laughs> I love it when you guys comment. So leave me a comment below. If you guys grew up eating stroganoff, let me know that. What's a classic dish that you guys enjoyed eating um, that you would love to see somebody make? Let me know, because I, maybe I'll put it on my channel and I'll make it. This is a classic dish. Not the way we made, grew up eating it, but this is a classic dish that we grew up eating. And it was fun getting to do it some, a different way. So friends, we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day and God bless.